Hello, I'm Christine Kramer with King County Wastewater Treatment Division's Community Relations Group. Today we are discussing a construction technique known as sheet pile driving. Sheet piles are typically used in soil to provide shoring support for excavation of underground structures. Sheet piles are typically used to support or hold back the soil for the underground construction. Underground work environments, especially near water, where many King County pipes are located, can be sandy, wet, and dangerous if the excavation is not stabilized prior to beginning underground work. Sheets can be placed in the ground using various techniques. In locations such as the Barton Pump Station in West Seattle, King County used a vibratory hammer to push the sheet piles through layers of different soils. The first step in driving sheet piles is to place the sheet pile above the exact location where it will be driven into the ground. A crane lifts the sheet pile upright. The vibratory hammer is used to help place the sheet pile. Using the hammer, an experienced crew member guides the sheet pile to the exact entry location and angle. Once the sheet pile is in place, the vibratory hammer is lifted and secured to the top of the pile. In locations with dense, clay-like soil, the contractor may pre-drill the sheet pile locations to loosen the soil before placing the sheet pile. Vibratory hammers use spinning counterweights to vibrate the sheet pile. The vibrating pile disturbs the soil, causing soil particles to lose their grip on the sheet pile, reducing friction and making it easier to drive the sheet pile underground. You can think of it like using a hot knife on butter. The knife melts the butter and moves through it easily. As the sheet pile moves downward, under its own weight and the weight of the vibratory hammer, the equipment really ramps up in noise and vibration. Listen. Depending on the type of soil the sheet pile is moving through, a sheet pile can be inserted into the ground in as little as 30 seconds. If the soil is harder or more clay-like, it can take up to 30 minutes to insert. The process from setting the sheet pile through driving it into the ground can take anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours. Vibratory hammers are just one tool used to drive piles. King County Wastewater Treatment Division prefers this method as they have advantages over traditional pile drivers that use a large weight to strike the pile. Advantages of the vibratory hammer include the speed with which it can get the job done, versatility for where it can be used, and environmental protection. They also can be used in close proximity to residential areas with minimal noise complaints. However, they do still have impacts on nearby neighbors, including increased noise as compared to a normal day on the construction site and a sense of vibration. In addition to pile driving, there are many other methods of soil stabilization. Understanding soil layers at our project sites, as well as assessing the general work environment, is critical to how King County Wastewater Treatment Division selects a soil stabilization method. In the future, King County Wastewater Treatment Division will post videos on other construction techniques we use. Stay tuned!